Hello there. I'm going to show you how to use our appointment management tool. Here in the advertiser dashboard under features, we click appointment manager. We have three ways to add in appointments. Create new allows the user to add an individual appointment. Here we specify the date and the time. How many hours prior to the appointment that the text message is sent? or whether we want to send it immediately. Enter the client's info. First and last name are optional. If the client's info is already in an opt-in list, our autocomplete function will help to complete the listing with information from the list. Here, we specify whether the message is just a reminder, a long confirmation message, which includes the option to reply B for running behind schedule or R to reschedule, or a short confirmation option which only allows the user to reply C to confirm or M to miss. We will choose a short confirmation. Here we can create update and delete message templates accordingly. In the message box we type our message and we can use merge tags to customize the message according to first name, appointment time, etc. Here, the user can specify whether the client can opt in if choosing to confirm the appointment and specify which list they opt into. Lastly, it is an option to type in a mobile number where the customer's notification is sent to. Click Send to send the message, and you will be asked to confirm. After that, you will be notified if the message sent successfully. In the Multiple Appointments section, the user can add and manage multiple appointments according to date, time, time notification is sent, the client's mobile number, their first and last name, whether the message is a reminder, a confirmation, or a short confirmation, the message itself, the opt-in list, and which phone number is notified. If you click Set Defaults, you may determine what day the appointments are, how far in advance the client is notified, reminder, confirmation, or short confirmation, the message template to use, the opt-in list, and what number is notified. Okay, now it's time to enter the day's worth of appointments. I'm going to cover up the phone numbers that are coming up in the autoresponder, but you won't see this blue bar in your system. Finally, save the appointments, look over the information to make sure everything is correct, and click Approve to confirm and send out the notifications. When you've added in appointments, you can access them by the date here and here. The information for appointments includes the time and date of the appointment, the mobile number of the client, their first and last name, time that the notification was sent, when and what they replied, and here you can edit the message individually. And lastly, delete. Here you can upload appointments via a .csv or better known as an Excel file according to our template which you can download here. You can add autoresponders, which are messages that clients receive according to whether they choose to confirm, whether they choose to miss, are running late, or choose to reschedule the appointment. Lastly, let's imagine that you're a primary doctor who sees a lot of kids. You now have an opportunity to increase your office's revenue by sending out a marketing message that will cause patients to book more appointments. You would send a message out in July that says something like this. Don't forget to include your opt-in list. Send it off and make sure to confirm. And that's it for the appointment manager. Have a great day.